Hello, and welcome to Dratman Plays Stardew Valley Wilderness Farm Edition, Season 1, Episode 21. Okay, let's start the day by checking out the weather. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Well that's good. We like the rain. And fortune for today. Welcome to Welwick's Oracle, the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. That's disappointing. Let's see what the Queen of Sauce has to say. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, radish salad. There's nothing like fresh, peppery radish. It reminds me of late spring. My mother would slice up fresh radishes and serve them on grainy bread with a little salt and pepper. Ah, those were the days, but I digress. Now watch closely. You learned how to cook radish salad. Excellent. Okay, well, um, let's see here. We definitely need to water all of our plants, so let's get that over with. And we drop off some of these random things. Oh, we got some strawberries. So, uh, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, we kind of screwed up the strawberries. We didn't, um, we didn't get them in the ground and watered on the 13th, which is what we needed to do to take advantage of the speed grow in order to get a third harvest. However, we still get some benefit from using the speed grow, and that is that they are ready sooner. Oh, wait a minute. I screwed up. Uh, so for example, these strawberries up here didn't have any speed grow on them, and they're not ready to go yet. So I don't know uh, if we are going to be able to do anything exciting with this money. Maybe we can upgrade a tool. Guess what, we got uh, 20 of these things. So that means we should get a good uh, 2,000 uh, gold, I think. All right, this is trying to distract me. I need to uh, harvest these and then start continue the watering. Water pick, water pick, water pick was not something that was working for me. So if we go to Pierce, we can sell these right away. And maybe take a swing around Clint's. Oh, it's the traveling merchant today too. Well, we've only got five hundred dollars, so but you know, might as well check out uh, check out see what she's got. And if she has something extraordinarily awesome, then maybe we can forego the tool upgrade temporarily. All right, don't need this. I guess we can hold on to that stuff. Um, now, is there anything here we can donate? Adventurer's bundle. Have we not done that? I thought we had. Let me just, I'm gonna double check this. I'm not 100% whether those, um, um, let's see, adventurer's bundle. Oh, it is, okay, great. I just wasn't sure whether it, it's telling me that this is the sort of thing that is used in the Adventurer's Bundle as opposed to, and you haven't donated it yet. So, uh, let's see here. Anything else? Construction Bundle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Do we have enough extra wood and stone to take care of that? Maybe. Let's find out exactly what it is that we need. Um... I guess it's not the pantry. Craft room? Ah, here we go. 200 wood, 100 stone, and 10 hardwood. I don't think we've got any hardwood yet. I don't think so. This probably isn't something that we're going to be able to satisfy. Uh, okay. However, we can sort of consolidate our resources there. Yeah, we got two hardwood. All right, is there anything else here? Well, I'll put that in the recycle machine. Is there anything else here that we can put in a bundle? Did we do the blacksmith's bundle? That's right, so that's what we needed that for. All right, okay, so we can donate this and this. Stick that in the recycler. And then we will, um, <clears throat> sorry, this one here. 
Uh, yeah, so traveling merchant first. See if she has anything amazing that we absolutely have to buy. Oh, what are we gonna upgrade? I guess the uh, pickaxe, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the reason I stuck that seed there is that this is a convenient place to grow trees as well. Hello, traveling merchant. Yes, waving hello. What do you got? things. A thousand for wheat? I think that normally costs ten. Yeah. She definitely um, does not have bargains sometimes. <laughs> There's that rare seed that keeps taunting us, but no, yeah, we don't need that. So we'll go to Pierre's, uh, sell off some of our produce, and then we'll go to Clint's and we'll uh, ask him to upgrade. Oh, we need copper to do that. And I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of copper bars. I guess we're taking the northern route to Pierre's. And there's another tree. Is that an oak? So it looks like we've got two oaks fully grown. And you know what? Um, let me check. How many of these bars do we have? 12. Okay, wait. And was it wood? Ah, tapper, tapper, tapper. Oh my goodness, why can't I click on this? There we go. Uh, I definitely want to make two more of these guys. And I'll keep that, and that can go back. Because I would like to start getting oak resin as soon as possible. And that's because you need oak resin, oak resin for casks. And casks are a great investment because you can put pretty much anything in them, like vegetable or... Uh, fruit, and you'll get wine or juice that uh, greatly increases the value of the item. And usually it doesn't take that long. I think wine from fruit takes about a week. So I usually have uh, a few casks kind of running 24-7. Hello, Pierre. I would like to sell off some of the stuff. Oh, but you know what? Let's see how much money we get from these. I might hold on to that because that is a loved gift by, I believe, both Maru and her father, Demetrius. And since we seem to have enough cash without selling it, I think I'll just hold on to it. Oh, I'm not going to check this garbage can because you know who's in this garden, and he won't like it if we stick our paws into his garbage can. And I did remember the pickaxe. I'm <laughs> just like, oh. It would be difficult for me to come all over here and forget either the copper or the tool that I wanted to upgrade. Uh, yes, upgrade tools. Pickaxe, please. Thanks. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. It will be ready in exactly two days. Unless, uh, as we found out with the um, spring festival, the egg festival, um, he doesn't work on holidays. So we didn't get our watering can in time to water the strawberries that first day. Which was too bad, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, since we're in the area, I thought maybe we would uh, do a bit of foraging on the beach here. We went to all that trouble to fix that um, bridge, and uh, not much to show for it today. Again, it's a very poor luck day, so uh, that's to be expected, I suppose. But there is not a lot of forage to be gathered. And there's that candle we stuck over there. I think we were just out of inf inventory space. I believe that's why we uh, placed it there. I don't think it actually serves any purpose. <laughs> um, yeah, gold, okay. Yeah, because we're going to get two of those um, bundles from the boiler room done today. That's going to be fun. And I don't remember. The last one, I guess, maybe... Well, we'll find it. We'll have a look right now. I'm trying to remember what it has and whether that's something we can do soon. Blacksmith's bundle. Yay! So getting those minecarts repaired, which is the prize for getting all three of these done, is uh, quite nice. Oh, an extra furnace. Take it. And adventurer's bundle. Stick the solar essence in there. Hooray! Oh, 
a magnet ring. I think we've already got one of those now. This one. Oh, we need the fire quartz. That is in the uh, mines, and I'm not sure if you can only find it in the deep levels, but uh, you certainly will find them uh, in levels 80 plus. Oh, and now we can do the bulletin board. Great. And the vault. So just in case you didn't know, the vault is just pure cash. Didn't the bulletin board already? Uh, maybe I wasn't. Maybe it was incorrect about saying the bulletin board became available the first time around. So, Chef's Bundle. Um, let's see here. So we can find these lying around uh, in the secret forest, which we'll get access to eventually. We can grow poppies in the summer, I think. Mackerel and eggs, these are things we have to cook. Truffles come from pigs, which we won't have for a while. Um, they're, I think they cost like 14000 each, and you need a double upgraded burn. So yeah, that's going to be way down uh, the road. Now the maple syrup, we should be getting some of that fairly soon, so we can get a start on this bundle. Fodder bundle, um, wheat, hay, and apples. Those are the three apples that we uh, were so concerned about. Well, I was anyway. And that's why we got that uh, apple tree planted, uh, so that we will have those. This we can... I think we can, uh, if we can't grab it from the um, silo, we can certainly get it from uh, the feeding trough from the coop when we eventually build it. And this wheat we can grow in the summer, so this is an easy one to complete. We'll definitely get that one done before too long. Uh, oak resin, we're working on that now. Wine, well, once we have casts, we can do that. Rabbit's foot, now that's a hard one because uh, they come from rabbits, and rabbits, I believe, you need the fully upgraded coop in order to house pomegranate. Uh, we will need a pomegranate tree because, um, for that. Uh, so one thing I should mention, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, is at some point um, Demetrius will come and talk to us and ask us about the cave on our property and offer to set up an experiment. Either there will be fruit bats, which will uh, produce fruit for us, or there will be, uh, he'll set it up for mushrooms, in which case we can get mushrooms. Um, so for example, if we had the mushroom cave, we might be able to get a purple mushroom there. We have a frozen geode. I think we have a chub. I'm not sure about this nautilus shell. So there's always kind of a debate about which uh, which is the best option to go with. And I usually go with the uh, fruit bats because um, you can get, what is it? Well, apples for one, pomegranates. Maybe we don't have, I think it's one of these other, maybe it's in the pantry. There's another bundle that has a bunch of fruit and things in it. And so it helps out with that bundle a lot, too. Artisan bundle? Yeah, yeah. See, look at here. Um, apple, apricot, orange, peach, uh, pomegranate, and cherry. These are all things you can get from the fruit bats. So you can finish this bundle off really easily, and then it doesn't require you to uh, invest as heavily in your animal artisan goods. Now, that being said, we can do all these things eventually. Yeah. None of these are too complex. Um, getting the fruits doesn't um, prevent you from requiring goats, for example, or cows or chickens, because you do have to supply these. So, in any case, we'll make that decision when uh, when we do. Um, I don't know which way I'm sort of leaning at this point. Oh, let's uh, put on that ring. Well, we've got two small magnet rings now. Awesome. <laughs> um, well, you know what? Let's, uh, hey, you know what? Oh, should we save her for her birthday? When's her birthday? Maru, maru, maru. There she is. Oh, it's in the summer. It's coming up. Yeah, I'll save the strawberry. I mean, we'll, we might get more um, golden strawberries, but we might as well keep a couple of them. I suppose keeping three would be kind of ideal. Uh, one for Demetrius on his birthday, one for Maru on her birthday, and one, just in case we get either of them, for um, the gift exchange at the Feast of the Winter Star. Okay, so let's get some more stuff on the smelt. Let's do copper since we're still needing it for our tools and stuff. And you know what? Let's go over to the Adventurer's Guild and sell off some of that junk that we don't need. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Hello, Marlin. I got some stuff I don't need anymore. 100 bucks for the club, 100 for the boots, 450 for the dagger. Cool. Now, the silver sab saber, that's what I usually end up buying for myself if I don't come across a better uh, weapon um, by... I'm not sure. I, mean, I think this becomes available at level 20. Um, what else do we have here? Wood mount. See, that's what we have right now that we got for free. 15 to 24 damage. This normally costs $2,000, so we were, we were pretty lucky to find that. Uh, this claymore does a lot more damage, but it's very slow, which I'm not too keen on. And a Templar's Blade. I've only ever purchased that once, and it was in a multiplayer game that I'm playing. And at the time, I only had, I think, maybe the Silver Saber. And I was having a heck of a time um, in the lower levels of the mine, where you've got squid kids and red um, slimes and other, you know, relatively powerful uh, enemies. And the Sword of Head just wasn't cutting it. And as I discussed in a previous episode... Here, Linus. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, you can't pause the game in multiplayer. So if you're getting beaten up, you don't have the opportunity to just uh, uh, frantically consume a bunch of food to get your hit points back up. And uh, so I was just finding it really difficult. So I thought, you know what? I need to buy the best sword I can get. And this is before I got to level 90, where you would get the Obsidian Edge. And yeah, I, I forked out the two grand. In that game, I was um, I had quite a good uh, farm going, so I had the money and I could afford it. And then I was a hero because I got us down to level 90, and then everyone was able to follow me and take the elevator straight there and uh, get the obsidian edge for free. And then I think I sold off that Templar's blade for whatever it's worth. It's probably worth less than a thousand to resell. Okay, so we've got a bit of time left in the day, and I'm just sort of contemplating now what we want to do. Um, I don't think there's anything crucial on the farm we need to get done, so I'm thinking of maybe just grabbing the fishing pole and doing a bit of fishing. So let's drop off some of the stuff here. Uh, yes, we got six iron bars. Now I'm tempted to do invest that in the watering can as soon as possible. Um, and set us up for... Uh, well, you know what? We're starting to make some progress in the mines, and once we get enough gold and quartz we can just start making sprinklers so maybe that's not such the best not maybe that isn't the best investment i'm not really sure i mean we'll eventually get it but i'm in terms of like what's the greatest priority um i think that's not a gift for anyone we'll stick that over here with other goods all right where's our fishing rod it must be over here uh, yeah there it is we still just have the bamboo pole, eh? Huh. Wouldn't mind getting that uh, fiberglass pole soon. Something to think about. All right, so I'll keep this on us just in case we see some worms. And uh, there's plenty of food. Um, where do we want to go fishing? Oh, there's a chub that we can put in the... Uh, I'm going to grab that. Just, well, no. I always short of inventory space when we're fishing. I just want to, I was thinking of grabbing it just as a reminder to uh, take that to the uh, community center. We don't have an extra bar, gold bar, do we? No. Okay. So we're a gold bar short of making our first quality sprinkler. Which I'm looking forward to making. Because once you get sprinklers over your entire farm and you don't have to do any manual watering except for, you know, first day of the season. Oh, well, actually, when does the... I guess um, sprinklers go every day. I'm trying to think of what under what circumstances. I guess when you're planting something new in a new area, when you till it for the first time, that's when you need uh, the sprinkler or your hoe. Not your, well, you do your hoe. That's when you need your watering can. Yeah, so I guess at the beginning of the season, we've got all new crops, except for some of those that last more than a season. You need your uh, watering can. But yeah, I guess my point is that you start relying on it less and less once uh, you've got a sprinkler game going. Hmm. All that weight, you just got some trash. Yeah, I think getting the fiberglass mm -hmm. pole might be a good idea, just because you can throw bait on it and it increases uh, or decreases the time that you have to wait for a bite by quite a bit. 
I wonder what Leia's writing. Maybe she's writing in her journal. I mean, I assume she's writing. I can't really tell. Either that or she's like got a birthday cake in her hand and she's looking at the candles. Let's ask her. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. All right, I buy that. Oh yeah, we we're looking for a sunfish. Oh, they might only be during the day. Well, we'll find out. Because I think you find river fish in this pond, so this would be the place to go. Ooh. Moved a bit quickly there for a moment. Another small mouse bass. Well, I tell you what, at a minimum we're going to have some fish that we can sell to give us the money that we need to buy the fiberglass pole tomorrow, which I think might be a little uh, mission for us on day 22. Now, the other other thing that we might want to consider is saving up for the coop. Is getting the coop more important than the fiberglass pole? Arguably yes, because we want to get those eggs. But then you have to buy chickens as well. I mean, it's a big investment to get yourself fully decked out to start making eggs. And if we get the pole, then we can have some more productive days fishing, which might help us uh, monetarily in the long run a bit more. Man, we're getting a lot of algae. I guess it was a bad luck day, so that makes sense. Certainly aren't seeing any treasure chests. Hmm. All we've got is two fish to show for our little adventure so far. No, oh, I just saw Abigail walk by at the bottom of the screen. Another <laughs> freaking algae. Okay. More algae. At least I'm getting a tiny amount of experience. Is that fishing experience I'm getting? I guess so. Oh, an actual fish. Another small mouse bass. And it was a gold one though. That's something. Another gold. Smallmouth bass. Maybe it would have been an iridium if I hadn't messed up that uh, catch. Got away from me a little bit there. <laughs> I'm still contemplating whether we should go for the uh, fiberglass pole or the or continue saving up for the coop. Hmm. It's a tough one. We could do the pole tomorrow if we decided to go that way. But I think to make that investment worthwhile, we'd have to kind of dedicate ourselves. Oh no, am I going to be exhausted? I forgot to eat something before I did that cast. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if we invest in the pole, I think we'd want to do a lot of fishing just to sort of justify that and to uh, make back the money that we invested in it. You know what? We've had some pretty successful um, fishing days where we've been able to do a thousand in a day, and I'm wondering, like, could we do two thousand a day if we were getting faster hits? Maybe. Let's try it. Let's do it. Let's get the fiberglass pole. Concentrate on doing a bit of fishing to end out the season, and um, then we'll buy a coop. Maybe it'll be a summer activity. Getting our coop. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess this is probably going to be our last cast now that it's after 11. And it's just a weed. Oh, we're not quite... You know what? I would love to get a level in fishing. Let's just try, let's try to do that. Maybe we'll get lucky. Come on, come on. Is it enough? Thank you. 
Yay! So, yeah, if you want small mouthed bass, uh, apparently going to the pond is the place to go. And there's an, an, an iridium one at that. I don't think I've got my mallet on me. Nope. Whenever I hear that creak sound, I know it's one of those little golem guys spreading out of the earth. Okay. So, I think we can sell all these fish. We don't really need them for anything, do we? And then we'll have our money for tomorrow. Oh, I guess I could put some garbage in that uh, recycler. Bam. Okay, I think we're good to go. Um, I'll put my fishing rod back. It's going to rain tomorrow too, isn't it? I'll grab this to remind myself that I want to drop it off at the uh, community center. I don't think anything else here is uh, terribly important. There we go, a bit more light. Oh, I'd like that to be a bit more balanced here. There, that looks nice. Okay, I think we said hello to our cat today. Oh no, we hadn't. Let's see how much we got for those fish. Oh, and we leveled up in farming too. Great. Oh, actually, I remember that when we were grabbing the strawberries that uh, popped up at us. So our watering can proficiency has improved somewhat, and our hoe proficiency has improved. We can make iron fences. I have never crafted one of those in my life. Um, just seems like a, an expensive... Or, I wouldn't say a waste of iron, but I mean, you know, wood is so much more plentiful, I'd rather make fences out of that. Preserved jar, that is good. Um, because they're not as good as a cask, but you can put stuff in them to increase their value. And the basic retaining soil, I don't think I've ever used that. I mean, once you've got sprinklers, they're irrelevant. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to level it up in fishing. Great. Uh, fishing rod proficiency. We can now craft a spinner and a trap bobber. The trap bobber I've used, that's actually kind of cool. If it's a good luck day and you throw one of those on your on your iridium pole, um, you can get a lot of treasure. Not bad. 600 bucks for just a couple hours of fishing. I'll take it. Now, before I end the episode, I just want to find out how much, what is needed to make that preserves jar? Wood, stone, oh yeah, it's coal. Yeah, the reason I don't like making these is because coal is so important for um, actually using the furnaces to smelt your ores that I don't like using eight of them. Uh, but I might, I might make one of these guys just so we can start um, getting some better valued stuff, like some jams and things. And I guess, you know what, we need a jam for one of the bundles, so we sort of have to make one of these one day eventually, so we'll do that tomorrow. Okay, well, thanks once again for joining Dratman Plays Stardew Valley Wilderness Farm Edition Season 1. That was episode 21. I hope that you will join me for episode 22, which will be coming up soon. Bye-bye.